Mindy, there are so many stars in the sky. People love grouping the stars into shapes called constellations. Let's go find some together. Go on, choose a constellation. Connect the lines between the blue stars to make a new shape. Those pretty pictures are called constellations. Go ahead, get started. Cassiopeia. The Greeks are great storytellers. Their mythology is made up of famous stories to explain shapes made up of stars in the sky. Let me tell you a story that Sydney told me about. Cassiopeia. The ancient Greeks have a famous story about a queen named Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia always used to brag how she was more beautiful than everyone else. The sea god, Poseidon, thought she was being rude. So he decided to teach her a lesson. Poseidon made Cassiopeia a constellation in the night sky and placed her upside down in her throne to embarrass her. Click on this button to look at a new constellation. Click on this button to play again. Choose another constellation to explore. Connect the lines between the blue stars to make a new shape. Those pretty pictures are called constellations. Go ahead, get started. Ursa Minor. The story of Ursa Minor or the little bear, comes from the ancient Greeks. Arcus was a great hunter. One day while hunting in the woods, he came across a great bear. Little did he know that was actually his mother who was under a spell. Arcus was about to catch the great bear, but the Greek god Zeus stopped him just in time and turned Arcus into a little bear so he could be with his mom. Zeus placed the two bears into the sky to keep them safe and protected. Arcus is known as Ursa Minor, the little bear. Click on this button to look at a new constellation. Click on this button to play again. Go on, choose a constellation. Connect the lines between the blue stars to make a new shape. Those pretty pictures are called constellations. Go ahead, get started. Leo. In Greek myths, Leo the lion lived outside an ancient city called Nemea. For many years, Leo would scoop up people from Nemea and no one would stop him. One day, Hercules went to stop the lion and won! Everyone who the lion had caught was set free. Zeus made Leo a constellation in the night sky to remind people of the story of Hercules and Leo. Click on this button to look at a new constellation. Click on this button to play again. Go on, choose a constellation. See the blue stars with the dotted lines between them? That's a constellation. Let's connect the stars to find out what it is. Taurus. The ancient Greeks tell the story of a wild bull named Taurus who had a bad temper. One day, he trampled a field of wildflowers, and Persephone, the goddess of spring, got very sad. Taurus apologized, and they soon became good friends. From then on, every spring, Persephone would ride on Taurus's back, and the two of them would make the flowers bloom as they walked by. Click on this button to look at a new constellation. Click on this button to play again. Choose another constellation to explore. Connect 
the lines between the blue stars to make a new shape. Those pretty pictures are called constellations. Go ahead, get started. Cygnus. Cygnus, the Greek word for swan, is one of the most famous constellations in the night sky. My favorite story about Cygnus comes from Greek mythology. There once was a girl named Nemesis who wanted to play a game with her friend Zeus. They pretended to be lots of different animals. They pretended to be horses and bears and lions and lots of other creatures too. Nemesis liked when Zeus pretended to be a swan the best and the swan in the sky is a reminder of their friendship and the fun games they played together. Click on this button to look at a new constellation. Click on this button to play again. Go on, choose a constellation. Connect the lines between the blue stars to make a new shape. Those pretty pictures are called constellations. Go ahead, get started. Scorpius, which is Latin for scorpion, was, you guessed it, a giant scorpion. The ancient Greeks tell a story about a famous wrestling contest between Scorpius and Orion the hunter. It began when Orion bragged he was so strong he could defeat any living creature, no matter how big or strong. The gods heard Orion bragging and sent Scorpius to stop him. Scorpius beat Orion in an epic wrestling match. Zeus made Scorpius a constellation in the night sky so everyone can remember him always. Click on this button to look at a new constellation. Click on this button to play again. Go on, choose a constellation. See the blue stars with the dotted lines between them? That's a constellation. Let's connect the stars to find out what it is. Orion! Orion is one of the oldest and most famous constellations. In ancient Greece, a hunter named Orion used to brag that he was better and stronger than all the other animals on the planet. Dayat, the goddess of the earth, didn't like that, so she sent a giant scorpion named Scorpius to face Orion. Their wrestling was so epic Zeus put Orion in the sky as a constellation, so everyone can remember him. Click on this button to look at a new constellation. The three bright stars in the middle of Orion's constellation are known as Orion's Belt. It's the easiest constellation to spot in the night sky. Can you find Orion's Belt in the night sky? Click on this button to look at a new constellation. Go on, choose a constellation. See the blue stars with the dotted lines between them? That's a constellation. Let's connect the stars to find out what it is. Come on, you can do it. Ursa Major is also known as the Great Bear. Ancient Greeks tell the story about a beautiful girl named Callisto who was turned into a bear by a mean goddess. A 
tracker tried to catch the bear. But the Greek god Zeus saved Callisto by placing her up in the night sky where she was safe. And that's the constellation we see today. Click on this button to look at a new constellation. Click on this button to play again. Great job! You did them all! Want to play again? Choose another constellation to explore. 